Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And man, I have gold for you. Just be Adam Brody. This lady's actually serious about you should be this famous Hollywood actor who's rich and an actual giga chad. Let's get into it. This video is for the guys. If you are the guys, pay attention. Be Adam Brody. That's all women want. Just be Adam Brody and you will have more ass than you know what to do with. It's really not that hard. The reason- It's really not that hard. <laughs> 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 it's not. Just be a famous rich hot dude. I, <laughs> I got get Red alert. She's serious. She continues. People are freaking out over his character in Nobody Wants This is that the guy is like- People are freaking out about this fake character in a fake TV show. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Wow, she continues. Of what, late 30s, early 40s maybe? Yeah, just be in your late 30s, early 40s and just be Adam Brody and you'll have tons of dating success, gentlemen. It's, really, it's just that simple. She's laying it out for us. He's kind, he listens. He's emotionally mature. Sam! 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 He does whatever we want. Yep. Just, it's just that simple. I thought this was fake when I first saw it. She continues. Stop hiding behind these bullshit unattainable goals because you don't want to do the work and recognize that- This lady is going to lecture modern men about doing the work. Ma'am, you can't find a man because you haven't done the work. Because you're expecting men to be like Hollywood actors. Actual Giga Chads who are rich and hot and are so sensitive, emotionally available, do all the things you want. It's a, ma'am, it's fake. TV is fake. <laughs> you gotta grow up. What women want ain't that hard. Be Adam Brody. Just be Adam Brody. If this instruction is too complicated for you, go watch Nobody Wants This. Ma'am, I have this for you. That's why you will buy a dog and die alone. We just have had so many amazing moments uh, on the last live shows. Magical and Hokey made two massive donations again to the channel. Sherman, as usual, made a donation. Neil, Kegger, and Dr. Scott, I, I missed you guys in the last uh, live. Thank you all so much, gentlemen. I really appreciate it. We continue. So in Dating Delusions, we always start with a great profile. It's a great profile today. This lady's 43. It's just that si you talk about being simple. Be Adam Brody. Be like this lady. Now, she's going to list a few things that are probably red flag for some guys. Totally fine. Red flag. Stop. But we take an army of ladies like this. She's smiling in every picture. She's fit and attractive. She's 43. Says, I am, gives her name again. And I, like you, enjoy many things. I'm a hairstylist, Brussels sprout connoisseur, a Prosecco lover, so she likes to have a cocktail. Doesn't bother me. Best of all, a mama to my sweet little fur babies, <coughs> Daphne and Dax. Now, I don't know if they're dogs or cats. If you're not into that, of course, gentlemen, but she's not shoving it down her throat. She doesn't have tons of pictures with her pets. She continues, when I'm not behind the chair doing hair, you'll find me lifting weights, hiking, or dining out. Now, if she's expecting Amanda always pay for her dining out, that's another thing. But that makes sense. She is, you can tell she works out because she's quite fit. She, you can tell she hikes because she's quite fit. Dining out, gentlemen, you have to decide if that's a good deal for you. I'm not saying to do that for these ladies, but again, we'll take profiles like this all day comparably to some of these other ones we're going to see today, especially. She continues. She's got a nice smile. She took some care in her pictures, ladies. She's smiling in the picture. Her hair is done. Her makeup's done. Her final picture. Look at this. How friendly she looks. Good. Ladies, I don't know what to say. You, you, like that lady in her dark cavern talking about being Adam Brody, be this hot guy that is uh, completely unattainable. This lady seems friendly and fun. She might get a guy like flexing, lifting up the bar. You can chase all day, but it's just too bad. He might be interested because she seems like a good catch. No, not knowing her situation, doesn't have any kids. She's not a single mom. I think there's a ton of men. I, I, then again, this uh, profile is several months old, so she probably is already off the apps. Mammy, get a round of applause. I really could not believe still that that lady's video is real. Just be Adam Brody. Be like this fake guy on a TV show. It's, it's like a dude in his profile saying, just be 
I don't know. <laughs> it's a similar thing. Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow. Just be Black Widow. Be sultry and sexy and a model. It's so ridiculous. And as we know, that lady's profile is very rare. Let's go, nonsense. This lady's 55. It says she's a Catholic conservative. We'll see about that. The way to win me over is say we are heading out on a fun outdoor adventure. Come on, you old cunt. We're going on an adventure. Ma'am, you're in here. Into the danger zone. You're not going to get one over anymore. You're going to have to compete for the men you want. Again, if, you haven't, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Ladies are only swiping on the top 5-10% of guys. You're going to have to compete for those guys, not the other way around. Especially when you're in the 40-55 to 55 age. That's By the way, that's the sub-theme for today. It's all ladies in the danger zone, 40-55. to, uh, to 55. Jake and Enyos. Or road trip. Adventures and road trips and travel. It's the theme of the channel. That's all they're looking for. Ladies, then you should take a man traveling instead of always expecting a man to pay for your travel. He's only gonna do it. Again, when you're swiping on the top men, these guys, <laughs> then you have to compete for those guys. That's just the bottom line. She then says, long-term relationship, share a dating journey that leads to a lifetime partnership. Ma'am, I hate to tell you, but here's the data on that. Men at 50 to 59, like 55 to 59 in your age, are four times more likely to get married than you will be. I, I just don't know what to tell you, ladies. You're going to have to be more realistic. And again, you're going to be what the man wants. It should, that prompt, take a step back. Hinge and Bumble and all that, they advertise on the channel through YouTube. I don't get any of that revenue or pennies on that, okay? If Hinge, any of these executives ever seen uh, seen one of my episodes, these prompts should be how, when, how to man a man over. It should be, I'll win you over by doing something, not the other way around. See, men will do this. They'll put something in their profile that will win the lady over. These ladies just think they can list their demands and requirements, and she continues. She then says, from Mahatma Gandhi, I don't know why she's educating us, but she decides that I, I will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet more than one unmarketable tomato no more than one unmarketable tomato ma'am why are you lecturing us and giving us stupid quotes see men don't want to be taught by you they don't want to be lectured they just want to come on here and meet a nice lady there are tons of men who would swipe on you ma'am this lady is attractive enough there's men who would date you you're not swiping on those men you ladies are swiping above your price range expecting hot older chads to wife you up that's just not going to work this way and win you over it's never going to happen this way you're going to have to be what he wants she continues she then says you should not go out with me if you expect me to be your therapist if you have drama with your past partners i am not your match with a stupid winky face wow If you keep meeting men who need therapists, it sounds like a problem with you. There are tons of men in their 50s who don't need therapy or 60s. Also, do you think men who maybe need therapy are going to read this and go, oh, I won't swipe on her now? You're the one who's clearly living in the past by even mentioning this in your dating profile. You have past drama that's clearly not resolved. She continues. She then says the best way to ask me, I like, I just ask. Chatting on the app for two days is grueling. Let's meet and see if we see we like each other and take it from there. Remember this for you. Got her own office, runs the game. Big city hustle, they all know her name. Breaking glass ceilings, chasing dreams. But dating's harder than it seems. She's got the vision, the drive, the plan. The finding love's a different kind of scam. Guys say they want a woman who's bold. But they can't handle a heart that's cold. Chatting on the app for two days is not grueling. Men will sometimes do that because they want to make sure there's actual desire. If you think for chatting for two days is really all that girl and I would get off the apps, okay? They want to skip the dating part, these ladies. They want to meet the the chat of their dreams. Good old Adam Brody. But I'll take a step back again. If you don't know who Adam Brody is, I didn't know who it is either. He apparently was famous, I guess, 20 years ago as a kind of heartthrob. Now he's in his 
40s doing this stupid TV show and ladies are falling in love with a fake character just like Mr. Big and all this other crap that they watch and go, just be like this guy who doesn't actually exist. I just can't even believe you'd say, I mean, this is how it's spoiled. Western ladies are to say it's grueling for chatting on to, to chat on the app for two days. We continue. This lady's 42. She's in healthcare. She then says, my personal hell is angry men. Please just keep it moving. Psychology hack to handle a rude person. When someone is rude to you, they're actually looking for a dopamine hit to feel better about themselves. And when they unload on you, it feels really good for them. So when someone is rude to you, your main goal is to stop their dopamine hit. And how do you do this? First, don't react. Don't get angry. Don't retaliate. Don't scream. That makes me angry. Ma'am, by saying angry men and then just please keep moving, you sound angry. Ladies, I don't know what to tell you. If you don't understand, you catch more flies with honey. This is why, gentlemen, I say the same thing. We keep it fun and flirty. Ladies, fun and flirty and sweet. Frowning with this bad picture, with this bad... You, you have angry hair too, man. I don't... I just... <laughs> your hair looks angry to me. Jay continues. A pro on kind of dating me. Pro is I love hard. Never been unfaithful. Love to nurture and laugh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. She goes, I don't like angry men and keep it moving to this. Con, to some people, is that I'm very independent in all aspects, a bit blunt and sarcastic. This is all over the place, ma'am. Your profile is literally all over the place. You leave, start with angry men. Then you talk about how you love hard. And then now you're independent and blunt. Ladies, another thing. You Do what you want. Again, it's 2024. You don't have to listen to me. But I don't know a guy who says, I love blunt and sarcastic independent women. I just don't. Show me these guys. Did, maybe the Adam Brody guy likes them. I don't know. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Perfect first date, him planning. I'll meet there for some games, couple cocktails with no commas, some apps, laughs, and casual conversation with no pressure. How selfish of me. Let's do all the things that you want to do. Ladies, you want to be courted? You're going to inspire it. You want to be romance? You're going to inspire it. You must be sweet and vulnerable and kind. Men are not just going to give you these things for just no reason. You just can't show up and go, court me romance me love me they're not gonna do it they're absolutely not going to do it you're goddamn right we continue adam Brody healed all the girls who have ever been told they were too much when he said this i cried actually when he said i can handle you oh when she like and you know that that's i, I mean i don't want to i don't want to like speak for you but i'm a lot yes i'm a lot you're a lot okay, <laughs> I didn't You don't need a six pack with that perfect tan. Just be that laid back TV show man. Messy hair and that boy next to a smile. Make a fool without trying to wow. You don't need a Ferrari. Don't need to be bold. Just need that quirky charm that never gets old. With a touch of awkward, a dash of sweet, and every woman's falling at your feet. Just be Adam Brody, that's all it takes. A little nerdy, no flashy breaks. Don't need to be jacked or tough like steel, just make them laugh and that's the deal. Yeah, just be Adam Brody, they're yours for real. Forget the gym, drop the macho vibe. They want a cool, calm, chill kind of guy. With vintage tease and that casual grace, it's the soft spoken charm that wins the race. Yeah, just got that Seth Cohen style, under the stated glow. And that's all it takes for the love to flow. 
don't have to shout and be the best Just bring that quiet confidence Forget the rest Just be Adam Brody That's all it takes A little nerdy No flashy breaks Don't need to be jacked or tough like steel Just make them laugh and that's the deal Yeah, just be Adam Brody They're yours for real Forget the gym, drop the macho vibe They want a cool, calm, chill kind of guy With vintage tees and that casual grace It's the soft-spoken charm that wins the race He's got that Seth Cohen style, understated glow And that's all it takes for the love to flow you don't have to shout or be the best Just bring that quiet confidence Forget the rest Just bring that quiet confidence Forget the rest Just be Adam Brody That's all it takes A little nerdy No flashy breaks Don't need to be jacked or tough like steel Just make them laugh and that's the deal Yeah, just be Adam Brody They're yours for real so put down the weights, let go of the grind Just be Adam Brody, and love you'll find So put down the weights, let go of the grind Just be Adam Brody, and love you'll find Today's comment Hey, this comment's from Aaron. It says, I could always tell if a woman was interested in me when she would laugh at my jokes and sarcasm, even when they were lame. Brother, round of applause. <laughs> you guys know I've mentioned my Giga Chad friend. He's said point blank, and he's former military. He said, the things I got away with just because I was attractive uh, where other guys literally got court-martialed for it. That's exactly the point. Ladies, a guy, his jokes and sarcasm and wit and charm is only if you're attracted to him, we continue. This lady's 42. It's about me. Love traveling. Now, when I say that I want these things, I mean that I want them, and I don't want to have to ask again. Ladies, when you put this, you're just saying you want a man to take you traveling. You A man to do this. <laughs> One million dollars. When you fly a chick out to Dubai, she called her friends up. Hello, Tiffany, what's up, bitch? Oh my God, bitch, guess what? I'm in Dubai, you lying, bitch. Who you with? I'm with Sean. I don't even like Sean like that, but fuck it, bitch, it's a free trip. So I'm enjoying myself. I ain't gonna front, he tried to touch me last night. I ain't wanna give him nothing. I, you know, I don't like Sean like that. I still fuck with Michael. Better be a good deal for him. And out of country destinations, being with family, so you take your whole family out of country? Or are you waiting for this dude to do it for you? <laughs> and laughing and having a good time. Yeah, most men hate laughing, ma'am. <laughs> okay. I enjoy trying new foods. I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, roll. And we can tell, ma'am, this is like a dude who plays Call of Duty all the time, saying how much he loves playing Call of Duty. I mean, do what you want, but it's not gonna bring all the boys to the yard, that's for sure. And drink to spending quality time with genuine people. I, sure. So you care if the guy's genuine, right? If he's not all that attractive. Ladies, do not ever date the ugly guy. I know. He's nice. He's funny. He is so into you. He's so much fun. You would swipe on men that you don't find attractive just because he's genuine. I do not believe you. You're goddamn right. Chicken news. Yeah, that says perk first date. You plan the entire day and I show up. Is that my fault? You like nice things. Yeah. <laughs> you know exactly who I am. <laughs> Literally, just romance me. Man, this is inspired. Ladies, you're going to have to have something there to inspire a man to do all this for you. They're not going to do it for free. Are you swiping a man 20 years older than you who'd see a 42 year old lady who looks like you as a prize? Because if you're looking for guys around your age who you're attracted to, ma'am, he's never going to do it. Older chads are not going to do it with you, you ladies in danger, unless you're a, a prize, something that they're going to want. I find it curious that women get so upset about the biological fact that most men prefer women in their younger years, mainly due to fertility, low body count, and just general attraction. When I knew countless women at the age of 19, 20, who dated 30, 35 plus men. She continues. 
She then says the old dating traditions are out. My new tradition is flying to Mexico on the first date. Ah! It is 3,382. Flying to Mexico? Why would he do it? Ma'am, aren't you concerned about your safety? I thought men were so dangerous. You have that, the crazy, that lady with the big chin, the Texas lady saying how dangerous men are. So this lady is ready to, for you to fly her out to Mexico on the first date. If a girl really likes you, she doesn't care if you're eating steak or corn dogs. She'll do a walk in the park, man. She wants your time. It's insane. Ladies, this is exactly the same as a man saying, I want a threesome on the first date. It's the same thing. We continue. This lady's 48. Oh, man, this is a terrible picture. That's a huge bitch. About me. Oh my God, this? Seriously, is this the dating pool? Are there any normal, decent men left? Sure. Ma'am, you get what you get. I, I'm guessing normal, decent men don't want to date you. I just want a normal relationship. Ma'am, I have this for you too. I feel like it's something I forget really often, so I feel like other people forget really often, is that like normal is so relative and like you're normal and your like low standards and your high standards are so different than everyone else's and like normal is very relative. What is normal for one person is normal not normal for another person. You're saying normal for you. Where's a man that I'm attracted to? Who wants a lady a hundred pounds overweight, ma'am? That's what I'm trying to say. How do they not understand? A very fit, driven, go-getter type dude, right? Who, especially when you ladies are swiping on tall guys too, that kind of dude is gonna expect you to be what you can't be, man, because you're not, you don't have your own diet and exercise in order. That is just an axiom of, of dating, right? So totally normal. And I don't know what you mean by totally normal relationship, what they're trying to do. And yes, ladies, of course, a lot of men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, are, there are some men on the apps who are already in some other relationship or in some sort of situationship it's going to have just like ladies are on here too, doing the same thing. Meet someone, date, and hopefully find my person and all the rest will fall in place. <laughs> Women. That's the dream, isn't it? If I could just find Adam Brody who wiped me up. The guy, ladies, another thing, I'm gonna tell you right now, the, the guys you guys go after, those leader type dudes, as we mentioned so many times, Leaders who are driven and things, I mean, they're gonna expect you to be what they want. Being a man to lead and you don't listen is wild. Women are out here saying that they want a masculine man that'll lead them, yet they're out there not listening. They're not gonna always be just wine and roses and be so romantic with you, unless you're exactly the kind of girl that they're interested in, okay? You're just, you're gonna have to recalibrate. Stop watching stupid sitcoms, really. These dumb lifetime shows and sitcoms and all the social media, it's destroying you, the kind of men you think you're gonna get. We continue. This lady's 49. About me. No, smokers. Let the hate flow through okay, you. Okay, just don't swipe on smokers. I love football. Okay. Gives her favorite football team. Okay, that's fine. I really became an empty nester. Man. Oh my God, who the hell cares? You're an empty nester, that doesn't matter. Don't even talk about your kids. If you have young children, I'm not interested. Okay, also that's sure. Who has young children in their 50s? She got this. I'm a PhD. Now she's gonna give us all her stupid requirements. Shorter than 5'9", swipe left. Atheist or agnostic, swipe left. Not active, swipe left. Not divorce, separated, situation, swipe left. Man, we know what you want. I'm just looking for uh, Christ Chad here. Ma'am, are you that foolish? You're trying to tell me if a guy was maybe spiritual, not religious, or didn't believe in God, really, you could not date him, especially if he's six feet tall and all the other things, or you're saying if the guy is your exact same religion, he's five foot seven, even though, again, she's five three down there. Your lady's standards and stupid requirements. I get the, the divorce separate. And she say not active, ma'am. You're not super fit. So, <laughs> and again, ma'am, if you just keep getting men that you're not hot and bothered over, because that's what she means by not active. I'm not getting men who are as fit as I want them to be swiping on me. 
that's a you problem. Probably because probably of your profile and also, again, a man who's six feet tall, who is fit and attractive, who, and you're saying graduate degree, who maybe has a master's or PhD. He's going to have tons of requirements on you. Are overweight to obese. Overweight doesn't mean attractive. Just because someone's 18, 20% body fat doesn't mean they're attractive. This lady's 43. She's up there with her, showing her bra with this weird necklace and a drink in her hand. And then it says about me, if you are into hookups, drama or negativity, I'm definitely not your girl. Ah! Fuck em. <laughs> I... Red alert, all hands to battle station. Oh my God, ma'am, you seem really negative. Do you not read this back to yourself and go, wow, let's start starting out really negative. Also, ma'am, if you're going to have your bra out and a drink in your hand in your dating profile, men are going to get that idea that you're into this. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mm. Life is always has its ups and downs, but it's how you move through the journey that matters. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Ma'am, what does this have to do with dating? We don't care about what's happened, ma'am. Do you... Ma'am, do you care about a guy's struggles? What's going on with him? Can you imagine reading a dude's profile that said, oh, I've gone through all this stuff and now I'm looking for, it's, it sounds pathetic. It just sounds like this. That was pathetic. You want us to care about your struggles, but you don't care about men's struggles. She continues, I'm a Sagittarius. Um, so I gotta be real with you guys. You look like f***ing clowns. So irrelevant. I'm a Sagittarius. I don't do drama and we don't believe you if that matters. But I must say from what I've read about them, it pretty much sums me up. Oh, good for you. I love dirt roads. <laughs> dirt roads. Crazy. What do you love about dirt roads? I mean, you like taking cars on dirt roads? What exactly is good about dirt roads? Campfires, the beach and moonshine tasting. Okay, is it in? Is it in? No. Is it in? No. How about now? No. Is it in now? No, baby, no. Well, you have a drink in your hand right now, which is fine. But you're saying I like to go moonshine tasting too, okay? And then you're saying I don't do drama. I, I just do not believe you. It is a bunch of this. You told some of the biggest lies that I've ever heard of in my whole life. We continue. Yeah, I'd really never heard of this TV show. I, I've never heard of it at all. So this Adam Brody guy, again, I, and I, because I don't watch much TV. So again, if you're into this show, great. Clearly these ladies are, but ladies, I again, it's a fictional character in a TV show. It's not real. So getting all your hopes and dreams over, we're all going to get a man like that is insane. It's made up. Now, let's just play a fun game. What do you think? His net worth is what do you think adam brody's worth go ahead and don't look it up put it in the comments what you think this and he's six feet tall look at him he's 5 11 six feet tall depending on the outlet you find so dude six foot tall actual giga chad hollywood actor famous rich what do you think he's worth if you said 16 million dollars you're this yeah. Ladies, it's a fantasy. You are living in a fantasy of the type of men you're going to meet, especially when you're into here. Into the danger zone. We continue. This is gold. It's just pure final profile gold. I hope you're ready. Here we go. This lady is 42 and calls herself Medusa. That's a red flag right there, man. That's a red flag right there, man. She smokes on the regular. She calls herself a siren. She says about me, chill chick enjoying gypsy life. I love that I can do what I want, when I want, and have no one to answer to. Oh, and I'm not really here for love and romance. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. Now she says this, okay, and I don't even know what she means by I'm not here for love and romance. If she just wants bedroom fun, I don't know why you need to start a, a dating profile. You just go to any bar in the world, ma'am, and have all the sex partners you ever wanted. Okay, she continues. Now, she, she's Medusa-esque. <laughs> 
Red flag. Stop. <laughs> What's the most iconic first date idea you'd think of? Ma'am, I thought you weren't here for love and romance. So again, hey, you sucker. Take me out on dates and I'll decide if I want to give you action. What, then what are you here for? Why would I guy waste this time? Is it, are you just, so my theory is she's just been pumped and dumped by this guy over and over again. You see him walking in the room? Yeah, he's six foot five. July. I promise I won't judge you. If you've ever done anything you might regret. I have no judgment. I've been to the bottom and I've done things I did not want to. Dear diary. My food dish is now only half full. It is obvious that I will soon starve to death. I have repeatedly tried to draw attention to my predicament with the authorities, but they are clearly either stupid, deaf, or just cruel. This may be my last entry. Get to the point. Get to the point. Pam, you say you don't want love and romance, but you're writing all this sappy crap in here. And also, this has nothing to do with dating. Why write all of this? It's meaningless for dating. Also, again, ladies, if you go so sappy and sad, it sounds pathetic. It just tells us you've been pumped and dumped by him. She's nowhere near done. She continues. That's just something I learned way later than I should have. Nothing's forever. Not even the ground we walk on. Expecting forever sets you up for heartache and disappointment. Enjoy now because it's all you'll have. The truth is, none of us are easy to date, deal with, or please all the time. We have our voices attitudes and ways of doing things that make us unique you won't like everything about somebody oh. <laughs> oh, man, that was so awesome. man this profile is all over the place again you're calling yourself medusa okay it <laughs> the bitch is crazy <laughs> she finishes up with this bunch of gold I'm known for being Medusa. The, her, the true story, dreadlocks, not snakes. Her sexual magnetism made men rock hard, and if she let you hit, she'd steal your soul. Man, we know you want. <laughs> Ladies, this is where we argue that all the bedroom fun you ever wanted is not very good for your psyche, okay? I don't know really what you're trying to do here, who you're trying to reel in with Medusa. I think most men would see some lady calling herself Medusa and kind of be scared of her, not enticed by her. Maybe there's a certain percentage of guys who are intrigued by dangerous women. I think most men don't want that. Ma'am, I must send you on your way. Thanks for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers and supporters. Of course, our members. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If you did like the content, give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, go and subscribe now. It's free to do and really helps me out. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.